We can't trust Rebecca not to turn on us. Oh, really? There's, you know, vampires are usually so reliable. Bonnie was right. Rebecca may be mad at Klaus now, but he's her brother. Her lying, mama-killing, dagger-happy brother. Full spans ready. There are too many things that can go wrong with this plan. Too many people that can make it go wrong. Well, I am formulating a secret contingency plan. Really? What is it? Well, if I told you, then it wouldn't be a secret. I need to borrow a tie. You have your own ties. Mm -hmm. I'm 162 years old, and I'm going to a homecoming dance. I need better ties. You could not go. I'm compelled to protect you. And if I look at your track record at high school dances, it's pretty tragic. My luck, you'll go ahead and get yourself murdered by the homecoming queen. Ah. No. I know how to do it. A lark taught me. Elena? This thing blows up in her face. Just remember, only one of us heals quickly. Oh. Please tell me that you have a better plan than Wolfsbane grenades. Never you mind, brother. The less you know, the better. My freedom from Klaus rests entirely upon you two executing your plan perfectly. So, excuse me if I'm a bit cynical. You're the one that we should be worried about. If Klaus asks you one wrong question, whole thing falls apart. You do have reason to worry, but if I look back at our history of epic plan failures, it's usually because one of us let our humanity get in the way. So if I'm taking odds on how this thing goes down, it's certainly not gonna be me who screws it up. I'll see you at homecoming. I can't wait.